Hello everyone, myself Dr. Akansha, working as a senior resident in Department of Radio Diagnosis at Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai. The title of my paper presentation is Hepatobiliary Phase MRI as a Problem-Solving Sequence for Evaluating Potentially Metastatic Liver Lesions, a Case Series. Introduction Hepatobiliary phase improves the diagnostic accuracy of MRI through its functional role that is, hepatobiliary contrast agents are excreted by functional hepatocytes into bile ducts enabling differentiation from liver lesions which contain non-functional hepatocytes like metastasis. Key is to have both functional hepatocytes as well as bile ducts. ISO or hyperintense appearance on hepatobiliary phase in a lesion detected in oncology patients usually indicates benign etiology, reduces the number of non-specific and indeterminate lesions also reduces usage of invasive tests like biopsy and aspiration for characterization of these lesions. Aims and methods We present three cases with a known malignancy who presented with indeterminate liver lesions on follow up or baseline imaging. All three cases underwent dynamic liver MRI. This hepatobiliary phase was obtained as a problem solving sequence for the liver lesion characterization. MRI sequence were obtained at our institution using Philips Ingenia 1.5 Tesla MRI with the prefix standard protocol for liver imaging using sequences axial and coronal T2 weighted fat suppressed, axial T1 weighted in and opposed phase, diffusion weighted and corresponding apparent diffusion coefficient, MRCP sequence, post contrast T1 weighted fat suppressed arterial portal venous delayed with hepatobiliary phase was taken at 2 hours. Contrast agent used was Gadobinate dimeglumine, also known as gadolinium bopter multihans, with a dosage of 0.1 millimoles per kg or 0.2 ml per kg. Patient 1, a 51 year old female with history of carcinoma breast, operated 17 years back with complete response and on regular follow up, now presented with complaint of fever since 10 days. Ultrasound done was normal, however, contrast enhanced CT showed multiple tiny hypodense lesions scattered in both lobes of liver. Rest all organs were unremarkable. Lab parameters were also unremarkable. In the CT images taken at portal venous phase, we can see multiple tiny hypodense lesions scattered in both lobes of liver. A dynamic phase MRI with a patobiliary phase was done next to it. We can see in diffusion weighted images, tiny areas of diffusion restriction in both lobes of liver which are not well appreciated on pre 2 weighted fat suppressed portal venous phase and hepatobiliary phase taken at 2 hours. Imaging diagnosis was given as pseudo lesions and follow up MRI was suggested after 2 to 3 months. Liver biopsy revealed benign liver parenchyma with periportal inflammation. Also follow up MRI done at 3 months after the scan did not reveal any lesions. Patient 2, a 39 year old male diagnosed with carcinoma rectum during baseline evaluation was detected with solitary liver lesion of size 15 to 12 mm in segment 8. Multidisciplinary team advised dynamic liver MRI with hepatobiliary phase. In these MRI sequences, we can see a tiny area of diffusion restriction on DWI image in segment 8 with corresponding ISO to hypo intense signal on ADC and this observation also appeared hyper intense on T2. In post contrast arterial phase it was not well appreciated. In portal venous phase the observation appeared slightly hypo intense and became more hypo intense in the hepatobiliary phase imaging in comparison to the background liver parenchyma. Imaging diagnosis given was a T2 weighted hyper intense DWI restricting hypo enhancing observation with no uptake on hepatobiliary phase. Possibility of metastasis could not be ruled out. Patient was started on adjuvant chemotherapy for primary and the liver lesion underwent radiofrequency ablation or RFA. Patient is on regular follow up with no evidence of any new lesion or recurrence in ablated lesion. Patient 3, a 48 year old female post TAH with bilateral salpingo oophorectomy and adjuvant chemotherapy 
टू ईयर्स बैक फॉर सीरस ओवेरियन कैंसर नाउ प्रेजेंटेड विद अ मार्जिनल इंक्रीज इन सी ए वन ट्वेंटी फाइव लेवल्स आउटसाइड कॉन्ट्रास्ट एनहैंस सी टी रिवील्ड टू हाइपोडेंस लिवर लीशन इन सेगमेंट फोर ए एंड एट मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी टीम एडवाइज डायनामिक लिवर एम आर आई विद हेपैटोबिलरी फेस इन द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एम आर आई सिक्वेंसेस वी कैन सी टू ऑब्जर्वेशन इन सेगमेंट फोर ए एंड एट जॉइनिंग सेगमेंट फोर ए एट द ऑब्जर्वेशन विच हैज़ बीन आउटलाइन बाय द ब्लू एरो अपीयर्स हाइपर इंटेंस ऑन डी डब्ल्यू आई विद फैसिलिटेटेड डिफ्यूजन ऑन ए डी सी हाइपर इंटेंस सिग्नल ऑन टी टू एंड कम्प्लीटली हाइपो इंटेंस इन कंपेरिजन टू द बैकग्राउंड लेवर पैर एंड काइम इन ऑल द पोस्ट कॉन्ट्रास्ट फेजेस इंक्लूडिंग द हेपैटोबिलरी फेज विच वॉज सजेस्टेड विच सजेस्टेड अ सिंपल हेपैटिक सिस्ट अनादर ऑब्जर्वेशन इज सीन एडजस्टेंट टू दिस इन सेगमेंट फोर ए एट विच अपीयर्स पैची डिफ्यूजन रिस्ट्रिक्शन विद आइसो टू हाइपो इंटेंस सिग्नल ऑन ए डी सी एंड स्लाइटली हाइपर इंटेंस ऑन टी टू वेटेड इमेजेस इन कंपेरिजन टू द बैकग्राउंड लिवर पैर एंड कायमा इन पोस्ट कॉन्ट्रास्ट आर्टीरियल फेस इट वॉज नॉट वेरी वेरी मच एप्रिशिएटेड इन पोर्टल वीनस फेस इट अपीयर स्लाइटली हाइपो इंटेंस एंड इन हेपैटोबिलरी फेस इट वॉज अगेन नॉट डिलीनिएटेड इन कंपेरिजन टू द हेपैटिक पैर एंड कायमा Imaging diagnosis was of a simple cyst in segment 4A with an ill-defined hepatic lesion in segment 4A8, which appears iso intense on hepatobiliary phase, suggestive of benign etiology. Patient is on regular follow-up with stable segment 4A8 benign lesion on follow-up MRI. Results and discussion: One out of three patients in our case series was imaging wise suspicious for metastasis and underwent. RFA that is radio frequency ablation two out of three patients had benign or pseudo liver lesions and were hence managed conservatively hepatocyte specific contrast agents are initially distributed in extracellular space followed by their uptake in normal hepatocytes and subsequently released into bile ducts thus enabling comprehensive evaluation in both dynamic and hepatocyte phase a protocol based approach using hepatobiliary phase while performing dynamic liver mri in oncology patients with indeterminate lesions acts as an adjuvant tool for deciding appropriate treatment strategies hepatobiliary phase is also useful as a follow up imaging sequence in oncology patients with previously known benign hepatic lesions the references for my paper presentation are given as below thank you